Hello guys and welcome back, back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to design a glass morphism, UI card, and other big D. Let's start today's tutorial. Click on the artboard, turn this white color team to the darker color, and drag this rectangle onto the artboard by giving a width of 800 and also height of 400 px. Align this card to the center of the artboard. This gives 20 px of border radius to the card and also increase the border to 2px and turn this grey color to white and also give the white color for the 20% of opacity and add the shadow here on AutoBX you will find the background blur click on it so now you can see already we have achieved the, the glass effect I will show you how it appears when you open a darker color the back of this card let's reduce some values in the blur here I'm gonna add 20 px and my brightness to 12 percent let's drag this circle tool and dry circle here I'm going to override this border just remove the border and give some blue color and send this circle to the back of the card cool now you can see how the glass effect is appearing when you open some darker color behind the card let's duplicate the circle and reduce the size of the secondary circle and change the color to some this color great now you can see how the beautiful the glass effect is getting differentiated by using these two colors wait now here we are going to add some text over here click this text tool glass i want to give the glass morphism text here and let's add 80 px for the text let's make it uppercase and also add the bold align this text to the card cool align the center of the artboard as well let's drag this line tool and add a divider in between the text and the text and the line let's turn this color to white and add some 60 percent add 2px of the border and make it some rounded corners this looks great let's have some helping test over here let's use adobe xd for creating the glass effect reduce this to 24px and also add some light text format and the first letter will be a capitalized and now this will align the center of the card wow and now all the UI aesthetics of the card is been done great let's add the button over here so my large button will have some 56 of height and also a width of 200 px so let's add 4px of border radius for the button and get right of the border and add this blue color let's add some text inside the button like let's try let's try xd i will give some medium medium text format align this text to the center of the button great so let's move this button towards bottom okay so now our card is ready uh, with the text and also the button if you want to change the text color you can to create more impact on the text and to look how the card appears with the background 
following the glass effect or else you can also have the white color as well let's change it to white super clear let's preview it you can see how the glass effect is more differentiated by using the background color effect so this is how the glass font prism card can be designed by using adobe xd if you like this video please do comment and also subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching